The sample application demo you are about to see assumes that application deployment infrastructure is already provisioned, including a K3's Kubernetes cluster and GitLab for code repository and deployment management. All of the instructions, including installing load balancing, ingress, certificate management, and GitLab are included at github.com slash cisco devnet slash api clarity dash op dash cube dash gitlab. The sample microservices application and, more importantly, the GitLab pipeline that installs our application, Istio, and API Clarity can be found at github.com slash cisco devnet slash microservices dash demo. API Clarity is a powerful open source tool that runs alongside your applications, allowing visibility of the internal and external services your application uses. Since API Clarity is really a fully fledged application in and of itself, comprising of several front end and back end components, it is required that it be installed along with its dependent services. This demo shows how, through a GitLab pipeline, that process can be automated with the deployment of any application. The first part of this demo shows what the install process looks like on initial deployment from scratch with a GitLab pipeline. First, Let's note that none of the services that make up the demo sock shop application are installed on our cluster, and neither is API Clarity or its dependent Istio service. The really cool feature of this pipeline is that it contains checks to see if Istio is installed, since API Clarity is dependent on it to intercept the traffic between services both within and outside the actual cluster that hosts the application. An edit to the readme file triggers the pipeline, and the GitLab runner will kick off to spin up services in the application cluster. First, the process will check for Istio, and upon not finding it, perform an install of it. When that is complete and dependencies are cleared, the actual user-facing application, in this case our Sock Shop app, will be installed in its namespace tied to Istio. This way, Istio knows which application to orchestrate. Finally, there is a check for an instance of API Clarity, and if not found, that is installed as well. All told, this takes about five to 10 minutes with our fresh install to deploy the application services, including things like user management, catalog, cart management, for example, and all dependencies. Once everything is installed, we can then navigate to API Clarity and see that it is up and running. There's no usage data, however, because we haven't interacted with the application yet. Now, as we poke around the site, viewing the catalog, adding to the cart, etc. In the background, API Clarity is tracking interactions between all those services and generating a view of how the APIs of that application are interacting. We can then, through the magic of API Clarity, see the reconstructed view of the APIs, as there is no open API spec for this application, um, since it's not documented. We can then see each API call as it was made with success or failure of the API and the endpoint in question, and as we poke around the application more, we see more and more API calls added to the logs. Now that we've done our initial installation, let's see what happens when we have an update to our application. Again, we're just going to edit the readme file to trigger our pipeline, but now things should be a lot quicker because as the pipeline checks for Istio, It'll identify that it's already installed. It'll check for the Sock Shop application and do any necessary updates to that. But it'll also check for API Clarity and also identify that it's already installed. And the nice thing is, since we didn't reset API Clarity, our traffic from before our change persists. And we see the traffic to our updated services appended to the original reports.